Here's the advice that we give you. If you do these five things from the Bible and from your grandmother, they're called common sense, you will win with money 100% of the time. Do you think wealth is for the rich? Think again. Here's the truth. You don't need to earn six figures to build wealth. That's right. True wealth building has less to do with your income and more with how you save and invest. When you change your perspective on wealth, you'll realize it's more within reach than you think. In this video, I reveal five things that will make you wealthy, shared by Dave Ramsey, one of America's leading financial experts who always has some wisdom regarding wealth building. Let's get started. One, have a written budget. Number one, you need to have a written plan, a budget. Jesus said, don't build a tower without first counting the cost, lest you get halfway up and you're unable to finish and all who see you begin to mock you. According to Ramsey's research, having a budget is the top advice for building wealth. In his National Study of Millionaires, a survey conducted by his team on 10,000 millionaires, 93% of respondents said they stick to their budgets. The study also found that 79% of millionaires never received an inheritance, and one-third of the respondents never made six figures throughout their careers, as shown in the chart here. Budgeting may seem so simple that you overlook it, thinking you already have a good enough snapshot of your finances. Chances are, however, that you're missing something that might be essential to wealth building. A budget is the foundation of any wealth building plan, Ramsey said. It's a roadmap for your finances, and setting a budget is about being proactive about where your money should go rather than wondering where it went. To do this, you must tell every dollar where it should go for the month using a zero-based budget. Your income minus expenses should equal zero. This method uses every dollar, and it's easy to follow. With this method, you allocate money towards your expenses, debts, savings, and investment goals until the income left is zero. Let's say you're a single mom earning $50,000 per year. After taxes, you bring home $3,917 per month. You want to start building wealth, so you create a zero-based budget. Your biggest expenses are rent, which is $1,200, $600 for food, $300 for transportation, and $400 childcare. That leaves $1,417 for the rest of your expenses and savings. You put $500 towards your savings goal and use the rest to cover your other expenses, such as utilities, phone, entertainment, and miscellaneous costs. With this budget, you know exactly where your money is. This can take some trial and error when you encounter shortages or excess funds, but all you need to do during this moment is readjust. You can also use the 50%, 30%, 20% rule. This rule states that you should aim to spend 50% of your income on fixed costs and 30% on variable expenses and save or invest the last 20%. Here is a graphical illustration of this rule. Be sure you follow your budget to increase your chances of getting wealthy. Since you might find it too much work to budget by hand, look into tools to make the process more convenient such as Ramsey's Every Dollar app. Two, get out of debt. The second thing is you gotta get out of debt. Your most powerful wealth building tool is your income. And when you spend your whole freaking life giving your money to banks who fill up the skyline and have furniture nicer than yours, that makes you stupid. Get out of debt. Imagine this, it's the end of the month and your bills start to come in. You feel a little more stressed as you open each one and look at what you owe. $700 on your new car, $400 on your student loan, and $100 on your credit card balance. That's $1,200 worth of payments, and you haven't even paid for rent, groceries, utilities, insurance, or gas for your car. If you have a family, that won't be the end of your expenses. He advised that you first pay off your debt to get out of this predicament and start building wealth. Ramsey believes that becoming wealthy is hard if you're paying off creditors. Escaping and avoiding debt will free up cash for goals and prevent future fees and interest costs. You can try the debt snowball plan to wipe out your debts by size, beginning with the smallest one. 
This strategy helps keep your motivation high by capitalizing on little wins. Another strategy is debt avalanches. The debt avalanche method focuses on paying off debts from the highest interest rate to the lowest interest rate. You will pay less interest if you tackle your debts with the avalanche method. Taking on a second job, cutting expenses, and following your budget can also speed up the payoff process. For future costs, try to save up enough to pay in cash and not need to turn to credit cards and loans. Free. Live on less than you make. They're wrong. Live on less than you make. Number three. Using your income unwisely will not only hinder you from becoming wealthy, but may also send you into debt. No matter if you are rich or poor, the truth is that we are all tempted to spend on expensive items like the latest iPhone, an expensive watch, the new PlayStation, a vacation home, and so on. But this conspicuous consumption might not add value to your life while adversely impacting your ability to save money. Instead, make smart decisions and find ways to save when you can, including using coupons and shopping around. For example, if your household income is $40,000, but you make ends meet by spending $5,000 less than that amount, you're left with money to save or invest for important goals. Millionaires don't all live lavish lifestyles. Ramsey's survey found that 94% of millionaires live on less than they make. The average millionaire never carries a credit card balance, spends $200 or less on restaurants monthly, and shops using coupons. If you're living beyond your means, in the end, you won't have anything to show for it. He also dealt with the related issue of stagnant wages, emphasizing that the truth is that wage stagnation often affects those who choose not to evolve. If your income remains stagnant, you decide to linger there. Listen to what he said about being stagnant. You know where wages are stagnant? On people who are stagnant. You're only stagnant, got stagnant wages if you decide to stay there and keep getting those wages. So to save yourself from the shackles of an unsatisfactory salary, have a conversation with your boss and request a raise. List your achievements and tie your worth to a reasonable dollar amount. Still, waiting to receive pay equal to your worth. It's time to find a better paying job. Switching companies often leads to a higher salary. Another ideal way to increase your income is to start a side hustle. Is there a skill you can sell with minimal investment? Get creative. For example, Create an online course that teaches others about your expertise. There are infinite ways to generate money that can give you more cash for building wealth. Now with more cash comes more temptation, and this shift is called lifestyle creep. Lifestyle creep is when an individual's standard of living improves as their income increases. Items that were once luxuries have become necessities. For instance, they upgraded to a more expensive apartment after a salary bump. The more you earn, the more tempting spending is. Instead, budget additional income to work for you while maintaining your current lifestyle. Additional income is better spent on paying down debt, saving, or investing. Four, save money. You're gonna get on a plan, you're gonna get out of debt, you're gonna live on less than you make, and then you're gonna save some money. You know how rich people get rich? They save money. Using a budget, spending wisely, and escaping debt will put you in a good position to start saving and investing money. Saving money is a powerful tool that can pave the way to big financial rewards. Ramsey explained that you should first fill up an emergency fund. Having a financial cushion allows one to weather unexpected expenses or emergencies without debt or financial stress. But $1,000 isn't enough as an emergency fund. Financial experts recommend saving about three to six months of living expenses in an untouched savings or investment account. The exact dollar amount depends on your financial situation, your income and fixed monthly expenses. Make sure you save enough money to cover a surprise cost comfortably. Savings can help you achieve your financial goals, whether buying a house, funding your retirement, or taking a dream vacation. Moreover, savings become a pool of capital that can be strategically invested. Whether in stocks, real estate, or other ventures, having savings allows you to capitalize on opportunities that arise, potentially generating returns and compounding wealth over time. 
According to the Ramsey National Study of Millionaires, three out of four millionaires said regular, consistent investing over a long period is the reason for their success. This chart from Ramsey's National Study of Millionaires says it all. Investing experts Warren Buffett and Benjamin Graham also say that the best way to build wealth is to keep investments for the long term, which is known as the compounding effect. For instance, suppose you invest $500 monthly in a savings account with an annual interest rate of 4%. After 10 years, you would have invested a total of $60,000. Due to compounding, your investment would grow to more than $74,000. It may seem like a small step, but the impact it can have, as you can see, is tremendous. A long-term high-yield investment account will typically return a greater profit than a standard savings account. Start investing with any additional money you have in your budget. 5. Be generous. And if you'll get out of debt and you'll invest and you live on less than you make and you have a plan, then you can do the last one. It's the most fun you'll ever have with money. You can be outrageously generous, randomly generous, lavishly generous. After you've done these four things, the last thing Ramsey said you ought to do is to be generous. Let's hear it from him. We expect selfish people to have greater financial success. This is a misconception. According to Ramsey, being generous with money is the most enjoyable financial experience you'll encounter. While the act gives you satisfaction knowing that you're impacting the lives of others, it can also boost your financial stance. Researchers also found that giving helps form a positive feedback loop that helps generous people experience better lives, encouraging them to be more generous. Acts of generosity are much like acts of exercise. Both activities are mostly beneficial when they're a habit or a regular part of your lifestyle. Being generous fosters positive relationships and builds social capital. This network can open doors to opportunities, partnerships, and collaborations that may contribute to professional growth and financial success. A well-connected individual often has access to valuable information and resources. Apart from money, you can also be generous with other things, such as your words, which are kind and truthful, and your time. Generosity with words contributes to a positive reputation and builds trust among peers, colleagues, and business associates. Trust is a crucial element in financial transactions and partnerships. A good reputation can lead to more opportunities and increased credibility, which in turn can benefit wealth generation. The friendship between the two billionaires, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, is an example of one built on generosity with time and words, not material things. The two have been friends for about 30 years. Their shared interests go beyond their wealth. The pair co-founded the Giving Pledge, encouraging the world's wealthiest people to donate at least half of their wealth to charitable causes. They are occasional bridge and golf partners. Following these strategies diligently can lead to monetary success and a sense of control and stability in one's financial journey. So, do you agree with these secrets shared by Dave Ramsey? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this topic? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Finance Soon channel. I'll see you in the next video.